What's up? What's up? This is your man, TC. This is Mr. Motivator. This is Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. Happy Tuesday morning. I just want to let you know, you know what I say. You are destined for greatness. There is purpose on your life. You're going to succeed. You're going to prosper. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. I just want to let you know that you can accomplish anything. I just want you to know that I believe in you. I love you. I believe in you. I'm here for you. And I want to tell you, I know you can do it. Yes, I know it's hard. Yes, I know it's difficult, but you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Yes, you can do it. Yes, I want to tell you, I thank you. I'm getting messages from people all over the world that are telling me that my motivational videos are changing their lives. I'm getting messages from people all over the world that are telling me that they're going after their dreams. Their relationships are getting better. They're coming out of depression. They're starting their business. They're pursuing their dreams because of my motivational videos. And I'm so glad that my motivational videos are touching you and changing your life. I just want to let you know that anything is possible. That's what I want to tell you. It doesn't matter how dark your life is. Your life may be so dark, but I want you to know that anything is possible. I want to tell you the story this morning. I went early this morning to the grocery store to looking for an international calling card. And as I went to the grocery store, I asked the lady, I said, do you all sell international calling cards? Because I live in a very small town. Where I live at, it is a very small town. And she looked at me, she looked at me very strange. She said, sir, she said, you are the first person that asked me, do we have international calling cards? I said, ma'am, I'm sorry. I said it jokingly. I said, ma'am, no offense. I said, I can't help it. I said, I got it. I said, I have an international mindset. Boy, she looked at me. She said, wow. She said, sir, that's what I'm talking about. She said, you're the first person in this town that, that has an international mindset. She said, that's awesome. She said, I wish you the best of luck. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I, got a, I have an international light mindset. Because let me tell you my dream. You know what I'm about to say. Because I'm speaking every day. So you got to speak life. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you got to speak what you want to be a reality. And once you speak it, you got to go after it. See, I, my dream is this. I want to speak in London. I want to speak in Australia, Canada. I want to speak in the NBA. I want to speak in the NFL. I want to speak in corporations and other places. And I'm telling you, I'm already in the college and universities. Because I'll be speaking at a university next month. And I am so excited. See, I told the woman at the grocery store, I said, ma'am, I can't help it. She said, I got an international light mindset. I thought she was going to be offended, but she looked at me. She started laughing. She said, sir, that's what I'm talking about. She said, may we all. She said, she said, sir, I got to get a mindset like you do. She said, sir, you are so positive. She said, sir, it's so hard to be positive because of everything that I'm going through. I said, ma'am, I know you're going through. I said, I know you're going through, but I said, it's a mindset. I said, it's how you look at it. I said, Ma'am, I got an international like mindset. And that's what I want to ask you. What kind of mindset do you have? You can't let the pain that you're going through. You can't let your past. You can't let your failures. You can't let your mistakes shape your mindset. But you got to have a positive mindset. You got to have a great mindset regardless of what you're going through. That's my dream. And I want to tell you, what are your dreams? You got to dream big. You got to see yourself becoming what you want to be. Don't let people put limitations on you. Don't let people put you in a box. And I want to go ahead and get right into the message. And before I get into the message, I want to say this again. I am grateful for all the messages that people from all over the world that are sending me telling me that my videos are changing your lives. I cannot emphasize that enough. I thank you for supporting me as a motivational speaker. I cannot do this without you all. I love you. I believe in you. And I am here for you. Today's message I want to tell you is well done. Well done. That's what I want to tell you. Well done. Principle number one, keep grinding and putting 
120%. Why? Because all of your hard work is about to pay off. Michael Jordan's hard work got him six championships. Kobe Bryant's hard work got him five championships. Tom Brady's hard work got him six Super Bowls. Mark Zuckerberg's hard work got him Facebook. Steve Jobs' hard work got him Apple. Bill Gates' hard work got him Microsoft. Jeff Bezos' hard work got him Amazon. Warren Buffett's hard work got him Berkshire. What did your hard work is going to pay off. But you got to put in 120%. You got to believe in yourself. You got to know that you can accomplish anything. You got to know that the sky is the limit. Principle number two. When you stay focused, watch this. When you stay focused, it will be less drama. Watch this. Accomplishments, abundance, and the life you deserve. I'm going to say that again. When you feed your focus and starve your distractions, it will be less drama. You will have more accomplishments. You will have more abundance. And the life you deserve will be given to you if you stay focused, if you put in 120%, and if you grind. It's not going to be easy. Let me share my story with you. My story is I flunked the first grade. I grew up with a learning disability all throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. I was not smart. I flunked all my tests. I was picked on in school. I was bullied. The teacher overlooked me. When I got in high school, I made bad grades, and my high school teacher told me, she said, Tommy, you're not smart enough to go to college. She said, Tommy, you will not graduate high school. And I remember in, in high school, my high school teacher, she told all the other students how great they were going to be. But she overlooked me and put me down and said I wasn't going to be anything. Told me I wasn't going to college. Told me I wasn't going to graduate high school. That's how you got to be. There has to be a point in your life that you will be. Watch this. Let me say this slowly. There has to become a point in your life to where you will become self-motivated because you are not going to always be in a position to where people will motivate you, inspire you, and encourage you. So you got to get in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, self-motivation. And you got to encourage yourself. You got to motivate yourself when no one else is encouraging you. And that's something I've always had. In the midst of my failures, I had self-motivation. I told myself, I told that teacher, I said, I will graduate high school. I said, I will go to college. Then watch this. In 2009, I became homeless. I was living on the streets. I had to beg for food. It seemed like my life was over. It seemed like I wasn't going to accomplish anything. It seemed like I wasn't going to be a, that I was going to be a nobody for the rest of my life. Maybe you grew up in a single mother home. Maybe you never knew your father. Maybe you never knew your parents. Maybe your parents abandoned you. Maybe you've been through something, some things. Maybe you've been through a divorce. Maybe your parents got a divorce. Maybe you lost a loved one and you're grieving. Maybe you're sick with cancer. Maybe you have loved ones who are sick with cancer. You're dealing with depression. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you're going through, well done. You can do it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it no matter what you're going through. I know the pain is real. Then right after that, I was shot three times, multiple times. I was shot in my stomach. I was shot in the back of my head. I was shot in my groin area. And when I got to the hospital, I remember falling to the ground. I said, I don't want to die like this. And then when I got to the hospital, I, I'm speaking with authority, y'all. This is my story. I was pronounced dead. It seemed like my life was over. And I'm speaking to somebody right now. It may seem like your life is over. It may you could be facing death. You could be at the end of your life. You could be going through depression. You may have low energy. You may have a bad past. 
You may be dealing with pain, resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness, not forgiving yourself, depression, pain. Whatever you are going through, you can resurrect out of it. Whatever you're going through, you can come out of it no matter what you're going through. I faced death. I died. I was pronounced dead when I got to the hospital. I was in a coma. I was on life support for seven days. It seemed like my life was over. My life was dead at the hospital. Maybe your life is, seems dead. Maybe you're going through a dead situation right now. Maybe your depression is so deep. Maybe your grief is so deep. Maybe your past is so deep. Maybe your mistakes and your failures are so deep. But try again. Keep taking the test. Get back in college. Get your GED. Graduate high school. Start that business. Try out for the professional team. Go ahead and go pro. Go to the NBA. Go to the NFL. Go play Major League Baseball. Play college sports. Get that college academic scholarship. Become a doctor. Become a lawyer. Go on The Voice. Go on American Idol. Produce that next best movie. Go ahead and be an actor. Be whatever it is that you want to be. Well done. You can do it. You can achieve it. And you can accomplish it. And look at me now. I said I wanted to write a book for years. I said I wanted to write a book. I cannot believe it. I'm officially an author. I've been wanting to write a motivational book for so many years. And I can't believe it. I'm flipping the pages, y'all. Maybe, maybe you've been wanting to write a book for years. Maybe just start, just write two pages a day. Just start out small. You don't have to write the book all at once. Just start on the book and start on it and write one page, one of what write a few pages a day. This book is on Amazon, titled Dream Big. Go to Amazon, type in Dream Big, and then type in Dr. Tommy Campbell Jr. This book is only $9 paperback, and it's only $5 on the Kindle. This book will change your life. I can't believe I'm an author. I want to tell you anything is possible. And like my other dreams, I say this all the time. I speak it every day. That's what I want to tell you. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You can speak your life into existence. If you want to speak death, it's going to be negative. If you want to speak negativity, it's going to be negativity. If you want to speak positivity, it's going to be positivity. Speak life and not death. I know I'm going to speak in the NBA. I know I'm going to speak in the NFL. I know I'm going to speak in London and Canada and Australia. I believe it. I know it. What are your dreams? Principle number three. If you believe in yourself, you will become unstoppable. Well done. That's what I want to tell you. Well done. If you believe in yourself, you will become unstoppable. Stop thinking small-minded. You got to think big, just like that woman at the grocery store. I helped her. I showed her that she was thinking small-minded, and I did it in a nice way. She said, sir, she said, no, no one's never asked this question about an international calling card. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, but I got an international mindset. She looked at me, boy, she started laughing. She said, sir, I got to get the mindset that you have. She said, you're the only person in this town that has an international mindset, and I know it's going to happen. What is your mindset? Stop thinking small-minded. See yourself going pro. See yourself saying it on The Voice. See yourself on American Idol. See yourself starting that business. See yourself getting that scholarship. See yourself fulfilling your dreams. See yourself winning the Super Bowl. See yourself winning the NBA Finals. See yourself winning the college championship. Whatever, watch this. This, this is important. Whatever industry, catch this. Whatever industry you want to be in. Study it to the fullest and then execute at your greatest potential. Watch this. I'm going to say this slowly because you got to catch this. This is good some revelation right here. Whatever industry you want to be in, study it to the fullest. Maximize your study habits within your industry and your craft. And then number two, Execute at your greatest potential. I heard someone say, well done is better than well said. I heard someone say, well done 
is better than well said. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. You got to walk through this thing. And yes, I know you may be in a position where you have low energy. See, when I was when I flunked the first grade, when I was bullied and picked on, when I barely graduated high school, when I was when I became homeless, when I was shot three times, I didn't feel motivated. I had very low energy, but it was in all of those dark moments that prepared me for this moment right here. And maybe you're going through something right now in your life. I want to speak life to you. I want to tell you, you are awesome. You are handsome. You are beautiful. You are special. You are great. You are intelligent. You are smart. You are amazing. And there is something that you were put on this earth to do. There, I want you to get to a place that you will figure out what you are called to do. And once you figure it out, I want you to maximize your potential in whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to be a basketball player, maximize your potential as a basketball player. If you want to be a football player, maximize your potential as a football player. If you want to be a business owner, maximize your potential as a business owner. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an actor, a surgeon, or a movie producer, or a singer, or a rapper, or an architect, or an engineer, or an IT person, or a real estate person, whatever you want to be, I want you to study it, execute it, and work on it at your maximum potential grinding, putting in 120%. Because I'm pumping you up. I want you to get pumped up. But after this video, I want you to get to work and go after your dreams. Well done is better than well said. Don't talk a great talk, but be a person of great action. As I close, I'm closing now. I want you to know, I want to tell the whole world. Let me take my glasses off. I want you to look into this camera right now. I want you to look at me. I want my eyes to reach the look into your eyes because I'm serious about what I'm about to say. As a motivational speaker, you don't have too many motivational speakers that will say this, but as a motivational speaker, look into my eyes because your eyes are the gateway to your soul. I'm looking into your eyes. And I'm looking into your soul. I want to tell the whole world, I truly love you. I want to see you successful. I want to see you come out of your pain. Yes, I know the pain is real. You might, you, you may not make it to the Super Bowl. You may not make it to the NBA Finals. You may not have a great season this year. You may fail at starting your business. You may fail an exam. You may have flung out of college. You may grow up in a poor family and you're working hard trying to get a scholarship so you can take care of your family. You may grow up in a dysfunctional family. You may be in a negative environment to where people are putting you down. You may, you may not know how to motivate yourself. You got to get to a place to where you learn how to motivate yourself. Because there are not going to always be people around you that will motivate you, that will encourage you. But that's why I'm here. I'm Mr. Motivator. I'm TC, Mr. Motivator. Watch my videos. Reach out to me. Tell me what you're going through. I won't judge you. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what your struggles are. I don't judge you. You're going to make it through this. You're going to accomplish your dreams in 2020. This is what I want you to do. I want you to put in 120%. And when it gets harder, you keep going. Because it's going to get harder. If it was easy, then everybody would be doing it. It's going to be hard. But put in 120%. Because there are millions and thousands of people that want to do the same thing that you're doing. But if you're going to be greater than them, you're going to have to put in more work than they are. Go to the next level. I love you. I want to tell the whole world. I love you. I believe in you. And I know you can achieve it. And I know you can accomplish it. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please share my videos all over social media. And please support me as a motivational speaker. And if you want to book me to speak, 
please email me at my email address, zonepop39 at gmail.com. That's Z is a zebra, O is an Oscar, N is in Nancy, E is in Edward, P is in Paul, O is in October, P is in Paul, 39 at gmail.com. Zonepop39 at gmail.com. If you want to book me to speak, please reach out to me. I would love to come and speak life to you. I will come, want to come to encourage you, motivate you, and inspire you. Because I want to tell you, I know your pain is real. But when you're at your darkest moments, it prepares you for the greatest opportunity and the greatest moment of your life. This is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. I believe in you. You can do it. Maybe you have low self-esteem. Believe in yourself. Know that you are of value. If you're in a bad relationship, get out of that relationship. If you're in a negative environment, become a self-motivator. Motivate yourself. Encourage yourself. That's what I had to do. My whole life, I had to learn to encourage myself to get to this level. I love you. Thank you. That is my time.